previously on It's Trin's Life. Pleasant morning everyone! We are now leaving Estes Park on our way to Denver. It will take about 2 hours or even more because some roads are icy and we are making sure that uh, we are gonna arrive safe on our destination. But while driving, we are loving the view. Uh, it's my first time seeing this uh, view, you know, the mountains and the snow. It's beautiful. Um, it looks like Christmas for me and yes guys we are making sure that we will arrive safe to our destination. our way from Denver to Vail and the distance is 97 miles or 1 hour and 41 minutes driving even though you can drive this distance straight through it might be more interesting to stop along the way because you will be able to see beautiful mountains a lot of scenic views but in our case we have to drive straight to Vail because we don't have much time And we finally arrived in Vail. Vail is known to be North America's biggest and most popular ski resort. It is also an alpine village in the heart of the Rocky Mountains. Long a favorite of serious skiers and jet-setting celebrities, Vail now also draws a younger, hipper snowboarding crowd Skiing is king at Vail Mountain and the Blue Sky Basin, but the area's vast splendor is perfect for hiking, biking, snowmobiling, or scenery gazing at any time of the year. This is the Vail Village where you can stroll and explore shops and restaurants after a mountain adventure. You can also stay in one of the villages and discover yourself at home in Vail. It is a very beautiful and amazing place, you know guys, to look around and to relax. This is the Hotel Gustav Grand Summer. It is a hotel, restaurant and bar fashioned in European style. Hopefully, we will be able to visit Vail again next time, so we will have a chance to stay in this beautiful European-style hotel. Mm -hmm. 
Riding a gondola is beautiful as always. Too bad it wasn't running that day. We wanted to take the gondola up to the mountain and maybe hike down, but unfortunately it was only running on weekends. I believe it cost $75 per person, but it's not bad at all that you will be able to see the beautiful views of Vail. Hey guys! <laughs> Yes, we are in Vail, Colorado right now. Just walking around the trail. And um, I have just showed you the downtown Vail. And it looks like France. It's, it, looks, it looks like a province in France. <laughs> yes, like a town in France. Look guys, this is a hotel here in Vail. Very nice hotel. Just beside the trail. This is the trail. Carlos. And we are walking. Okay guys, we are now approaching the Vale Village again. Wow, sandwich, really good. The bread, I like how it looks like. Like in France. Yes. That's it, guys. That's <laughs> it. enjoyed our time in Vail. I think we only stayed there for three hours or more. More than that. I'm not sure because um, we were having fun and uh, it was beautiful although it's no longer new to us because uh, we have seen we have seen something similar in Europe most especially when we went to France those uh, buildings they look like replicas right of the old houses there in France and most especially in Provence we went, we went to a small town in France it looks like that except for the mountains of course the mountains around but guys um, it was really a beautiful place amazing maybe on winter there will be more people because it is a ski resort you can go and ski also use the gondola but for now it's closed so we just went to the village and eat in the restaurant uh, we love the food you love the sandwich right oh, the yeah. sandwiches they're really good it's like we're eating in France <laughs> 
it, it was something new to us, most especially the bread. It was good. And I just forgot what restaurant was that. It's like Bear, bear something. Yeah. Bear Creek? Yeah. yeah, Bear Creek. Uh, breakfast place. Yeah, it was a breakfast place, guys. So it was good. And, and um, um, I vlogged as much as I could. And uh, we went to a small creek which is a nice creek the water is crystal clear and yes uh, we really had fun and enjoyed our time in Vail now we are heading back to Denver and the road is really uh, tough <laughs> yeah the road is really tough and we are trying to stay out of the road when it's dark so we have to go back to Denver early it will take around three hours right to get back to Denver one yes oh an hour and a half okay guys so I will see you in Denver or tomorrow we are going to Wyoming Wyoming guys Wyoming and this is no longer the scenic area Oh, this is no longer the Grand Teton because we <laughs> we canceled the Grand Teton a couple days ago because of the winter storm. Um, we are going to a uh, city. I think it's a city. Yeah, uh, just close to Denver. I think just close to Denver, like around a couple hours away from Denver. And then we're gonna go back. Okay, guys. So yes, I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed this vlog in Vail, Colorado. Bye. Okay guys, so this is the long tunnel called Eisenhower Tunnel 1973, I think built in 1973. Let's get in the tunnel! And we are out of the tunnel now guys, heading back to Denver. Okay guys, I will see you later.